my name is Leila Hussein, and uh, and I'm the co-founder of um, Daughters of Eve. And uh, Daughters of Eve was co-founded in um, October 2010. Daughters of Eve were co-founded by three women who came from three different backgrounds, and myself, who was um, an outreach worker for many years, but also have uh, I'm also a qualified psychotherapist. So I worked with women and young girls who are affected by female genital mutilation for the past eight, nine years now. And my other two colleagues, um, one of them, she has a background in law and the other one's an optometrist. But three of us came together and share this mission to hopefully eradicate FGM from within our generation, really. That's what we really want to do. And um, for us to do that, we need to protect our girls from harmful practices and empower them to make sure that they are not in a position where they feel powerless. The gap that I felt that was missing was the work with, that's been done with young people and young women, especially the work around supporting survivors of FGM. There are so many support work out there for women who've gone through rape, domestic violence, or other forms of gender-based violence, but there was nothing for women who've undergone FGM. So we felt this is an area that's obviously a, a missing link. What we're trying to highlight to the U British people, uh, especially to the government and policymakers, that FGM is affecting British girls. I think people, again, have that idea that FGM happens out there to those people out there in Africa. But actually, these are British girls. It's happening to them uh, as we speak right now. And it's also um, within the support groups that we run, we've seen many young women who've had it done here in the UK, here in London, a few girls who were, were cut while they were in London. So it's, not, it's no longer an African issue. It's now a European issue. Um, social networking has been one of our biggest um, networking system to get in contact with other survivors of FGM. Twitter is a great example. Facebook, massive uh, followers that we have on Facebook. And, but through um, uh, events that we do here in London, we've had many young women who came to these events but would contact us obviously after the event, either via email or again, Facebook. The conference we've done in 2010 was very successful. I mean, we were not expecting the reaction that we got. And I think even for us uh, who organized the conference, we wanted to show, I think, even though Daughters of Eve is not a Somali organization, but because it was organized by Somali women and the group of people that were working together at the time was Somalis, we wanted to show Somalis can put together a five-star conference and I think we, I think hopefully we managed to do that I think that was our aim and but the the reason it was also successful was the aftermath because we ended up working with some of the young people who came from different parts of the UK to our conference where we went back to their cities and did some work with them and some of them were still working with and uh, actually some of them have joined us in, uh, in this project we just recently launched with, uh, it's a men's project because we want men to be involved in this, uh, in this work. And so it's been very successful. And we are planning to have one this year. It's not confirmed, but when it's confirmed, you guys will be the first to know. But we are planning. I think people have been bombarding us with emails or messages saying, is another one going to happen? Because, you know, I think it's because of the, the reaction it received. And last year and we like we said before we wanted to give young people a platform and I think the feeling though the young people that attended that conference they felt really important and I think that was that was the aim you wanted them to feel how that how important it was for them to be part of this uh, journey of eradicating FGM and I, hopefully they felt I mean we feel they felt that but you know hopefully they did and my drive is um, my drive is that I'm a woman and I live in a world where where equality is still we're still not equal basically so that drives me I'm a mother first and foremost I'm a daughter I'm a sister so for me being a female really it's what drives me and I, for me 
I want other girls out there to see that if you really want to make a change, regardless of, you know, trials and tribulations that you go through, that you can make changes if you wish to. I mean, I don't want uh, girls to think, I want, I, when people see this, I don't want them to think, oh, you know, what, what does she know? But actually, I was a very young mum. I had to go back to university again. You know, I recently graduated and, you know, I had to do night schools and it, it really was a difficult time. But if you really have the drive to do it and you have a focus, you can do it. And um, our drive in Daughters of Eve really kind of represents my drive. It's to show women that you don't have to stand for these harmful practices or any anything you don't want to. Basically, we are saying we want our girls to be safe. Girls all over the world need to be safe and they need to be empowered. And for, in order for that to happen, we need to be in a position where we are having these discussions. So Daughters of Eve is offering that platform where that can take place.